Friday, July 9th. I'm Natalie Del Conte and it's time to get loaded. Google says that China has renewed its internet content provider license. They were worried that China would not since Google rerouted its traffic through Hong Kong in order to bypass China's censorship laws. Google posted a statement on Friday saying that they are pleased with this development and look forward to continuing to provide web search and local products to users in China. Sony launched 3D versions of the Sony CyberShot. They're calling this the smallest 3D camera for consumers, and the models are the DSC TX9 and the DSC WX5. The 3D capability lets you view images in simulated 3D on the camera screen or on a 3D TV. So it isn't really proper 3D, it's a 3D like experience, but close enough. And you have until August 1st to post a cupcake on someone's Facebook wall. After that, Facebook will close down the feature that allows you to post drinks, cakes, or other flair. The company claims to be doing this to focus on other things and maybe clean up the clutter. And we have a price and release date for the Samsung Captivate. This is AT&T's version of the Galaxy S. You can find that video here on CNET. It comes out on July 18th and will cost $199 with a two-year contract. And you could get your YouTube video in a Guggenheim Museum. Museum curators are hosting a contest in search of 20 artistic pieces to showcase in Guggenheim locations around the world. An extra 200 will go on display on the museum's YouTube page. The contest is called YouTube Play, a biennial of creative video. For more info, go to youtube.com slash play. And American Eagle will give you a free Android phone just for trying on some jeans. Six branches in Pennsylvania will give shoppers a card that takes you to a website to get a free phone if you just pop into a dressing room and try on the pants. I don't know how they can afford to do that, but okay. That's your news for now. Thank you for watching. I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV, and you've just been loaded.